final. We are too police and we are too police. Haven and Cass were the top two teams when the season finished and for today's winner there's a place in the grand final. A healthy number made the long journey from Yorkshire. They'd an early start, just like our fan cam crew. what it's all about. Oh, God. I did the most stupidest thing last night. Three o'clock this morning, I got in. Here we go. Come on, we're taking you now on the Tigers tour. We're on our way to Amanella. Hi there, then, rugby fans. I'm Rayvon, Steve. We meet lots of people on those travels. Tommy, don't keep smiling if it's not full to it's film. You've got a dozen rhinos up to the neck in sand. What have you got? No, no fucking sand. <laughs> that won't be shown on grandstand. Luckily, there's two chances like White Haven. Kev, I think he's Batman over here. <laughs> Next stop, White Haven. Onwards and upwards, eh? Oh, how many points, look? <laughs> oh, eight? <laughs> oh, bloody hell. All quietly enjoying themselves. Before we go, then, into the big game. It's part of a documentary, this fella, for Jamie Oliver. We're just testing out some uh, different beefs and, uh, and vegetables. Are we going to go up? I hope so. <laughs> what for Super League games already? Oh, you're a bit premature, aren't you? I'm here as a dead worker with my friends from Whitehaven. Gambling's for fools, but that's the way I like it, baby. I don't want to live. We've come to win it today, the Cast Tigers. The man in charge of Tigers dreams is big Aussie, Dave Woods. We've brought a great crowd with us. We're looking forward to that support, and I just think that we'll be right today. I think we've got uh, the boys are all focused on the job, and they know what, what's at stake. Uh, you know, grand final appearance for the winner for, from here, and um, we're looking forward to the game. We make every fucking backfield set we have, boys. Every backfield set, we can play, and we play it up there into the field, and we let them come up with the errors. Minutes to kick off and to ease the tension, there's the many faces of Paula B. Listen, it's all on the start, isn't it? All on the start. Yeah, if we go forward, let's have some quality shots, do everything against the grain to start off with. You've done all the hard work all year, 80 minutes from a grand final here. All right, get out there, soak it up, and play our brand of footy. Let me hear you sing it. Hair. Hair. Oh, you big sissies. Build it up, man. Build it up and enjoy it. Enjoy that challenge. Right, let's be totally committed out there. Let's work our ass off for 20 minutes. If you need a spell, we'll get you off. Action speaks louder than words, boys. If we want to fucking win this game, we will win it. Well, this ground has a bit of history. Amateur side, Whitehaven Rex beat St Helens in a cup tie here almost a century ago. But Haven, as a professional side, haven't faced too many bigger games in their 58-year history. Straight route to the grand final for the winners. We're under slate grey Cumbrian skies at the moment. That'd been beautiful till about quarter of an hour from the start. Might just make a little bit of difference to the team's approach. Hubie driving the ball to the 10 metres. This is Brad Davis. Oh, that's a good little kick from Davis. Price is over. First points on the board for the Castleford Tigers with just a couple of minutes gone. Hands out. Davis, Henderson. Well, good scrambling by Whitehaven. They really do need to keep them out though here. Henderson. Oh, they're over again. They're over again, and this time it's Dion Bird who has scored. Great talent here. Get them all in, Tom. Stay positive. Pull down line, cut the line speed down slightly, but all down line. Well, Hubie has kicked 77 goals this season. He's made it 78. Give him a wrap again, all right, John, all right. We have worked that, all right. Patience again, working out of our backfield, not to get carried away. Can't get carried away. Oh, that's another break. This time from Hepworth. He's off to play Rugby Union in Ireland at the end of this competition. Platt, 
Oh, great ball to Dion Bird. Here goes Bird again. He's got support from Tommy Hockey. I don't think they'll catch him. Oh, yes, they have. Joel Penny. Oh. Terrific tackle, but they're struggling now. It's a penalty. It might even be 10. It is 10. Off you go with Simbin, mate. Professional foul. A professional foul. Whitehaven are down to 12 men. Take take that set. Well, they might have had six points here. But Whitehaven down to 12 men. Hubie decides to have a go at goal. It's 12-0 the advantage, and we've still only played 15 minutes. We expected it to be tight, but at the moment, it's one-sided. It's all getting a little bit tasty out there. Cut out the clapping and every time there's an offence, you get on with your own game. All right. Come on, we've got to be smarter than that. Just remind them, all right? No piggybacks. First clear. Right up behind, Darren. Can they make and Whitehaven pay an even heavier price? Second. Than Hubie's penalty we saw a few moments ago. Well, they're appealing for a little knock-on. I'm not sure there was. Aaron Smith did well. Here he is again. Finds Brad Davis. Davis to Eager. Oh, it's a stroll over that. That's a stroll for the Australian. Michael Egan scores. It's one way traffic. And it's all becoming a bit embarrassing for White Table. So far, so good, Kev. Hey! Fucking old tomorrow. Listen, one more to start. Making too many yards from the rook. All right. Get tight, eh? Get numbers in, slow them down, all right? The fucking dummy ass jumping out making shit yards. Get tight around the rough, numbers in the tackle, slow them down. Oh, no mistake, 18 minutes gone, 18 points to nil. This is not how we expected it to be. Scores 18. Good ball to Seeds again. Calvert waits. Calvert's going to be forced to step inside, I think. He's got plenty of pace if he sees a gap. Couple of tackles left. Penny. Oh, kicks through for Sice. I think Sice will beat him. Yeah, yes, he has. And finally, belatedly, Whitehaven are on the score sheet. And maybe now we'll make a game of it. I was going to say, that last 15 minutes is outstanding. Just get building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep doing it. McNannan then with the conversion attempt. No mistake. It's 18 6 now to Castleford. a racket here. Eager just takes the tackle in the end. Davis and Tommy Hockey. And there we go, there's the half-time hooter. Castleford started at a whirlwind pace. 18-0 up at one stage. It's 18-6 to the Tigers at the break. Come on, Tommy. This is second time today. It's been out. Time came as something of a relief, and not just for Whitehaven. Let's not let this game pass us by now with this, all right? I'm sick of hearing people now. I'm not getting the ball off. It's not coming here, it's not coming there. As bad as we've played, we're two scores down. Yeah? Castleford are looking good. We're 18 6 at half time, and take it from me, we are going to win this game. Castleford yeah. a good side, but we'll. Easily. We'll do it. Yeah, I think we'll do it. No. Uh, Easily. Listen, is this game beyond the reach, 18-6? Here, is it bollocks? Let's have a little bit of fire, get the platform laid. Don't start throwing your arms around and clock clocking high tackles. Let's make sure we're more composed with it. The Tigers are doing it right. They need to take advantage when they're in their half. Drop goals are the close. We've been in a lot more shit than we are now. This is nothing. 18-6. Stay everything positive now. There's no bagging. There's no negativity. Stay positive and we will win the game. Might be the last second, but we'll win it. Well, the sun's now blazing, but Whitehaven, the home side, really do have a big job on their hands. Leroy Joe waits. That's Joel Penny. Oh, that's a clever looking kick for Sice. He's over. Carl Sice is second yeah, try of the match. Within the opening minute of the second half, Whitehaven are back within a score.
It's anybody's game now. Very central. Ball just five metres or so out. It's Platt. Can he get the ball away? Well, the answer is no, because he's got four Whitehaven players around him. Oh, ball back to Watine. Was that a little bit high? Referee allows it to continue. The Castleford supporters are not too happy. Can Haven kick them out? Oh, well, he can because Nanin is off the line. Oh, look at that. He's offside, offside according to the referee. He's, He's only got two yards. And Steve Danson's adamant. Hooby then to try to just stretch the lead. And he's done it. The reaction of the Castleford supporters will tell you that. So Whitehaven must score twice. Very close to the try line. This is Leicester. That's Penny. It's a good looking kick again. Oh, well played, Wayne Price. Oh, that's terrific. Now, Price, if he gets up ahead of steam, really could go the distance. In the end, Nanin grabs him. This is Valls, good step from Adrian Valls. What a match this is. What a great game. Into the 40. <laughs> That's a penalty. That's a high shot on Blanche. Come on, Gary. Surround his neck. Bring him down. Look at their body language, all right? Look at their body language. We've got to run in numbers. And Hendo's got to start jumping out. Penny's on one leg. They're, they're shattered. We've got to run in numbers and do the job. Oh. Tackle's gone. Leicester. It's a good, quick play. The ball from Whitehaven and Broadbent. Broadbent no. looks to get the ball away. Oh, that's a penalty. We can't afford to keep giving these stupid penalties away. We're letting them in the game. So a penalty. No point. Whitehaven, of course, going for the kicks. They must score a try. Well, they need to score two, really. Here's Joe. Good ball to Chambers. Joe Chambers has got it down! Oh, that's terrific play from Chambers, Craig Chambers. It looked like he'd been held up short, but he stretched out the right arm. And now it's anybody's game. No more Discipline. Discipline. Cross the error. Nanin steps up. Oh, and he's kicked it. And the wreck is rocking. They really have up their game, Whitehaven. That's Rudd, freshest player on the field. Only just come on a few moments ago. Leroy Joe, Chambers again. They're knocking on the door here, oh, Whitehaven. Quick play the ball out to Calvert. Is he in? I think he might be. Referee looks to his touch judges. He's given the try. 18 nil down, it's 22 apiece. They should have still get too excited. Got it down, I Keep our composure, Pete. He's kicked the lot for Whitehaven, but this is the toughest get right from the touchline. Oh, it looks a beaut. Oh, it's just across the face of the post. It remains 22 apiece. Very much, though, anyone's game now. They're on the 10 metres. Blanche goes from dummy half. For a moment, I thought he was going to get that down. There's some space there for Hetwith. Little kick through from Kane. There's too much on it. Well, that should be a penalty. That should be a penalty. Ten minutes for Dion Bird. That was absolutely stupid. What on earth did Dion Bird do that for? Castleford will play the rest of this match with only 12 men. I'll tell you what, Steve McCormack's half-time team talk must have been something to behold. Now Seats has it, Calvert, oh, Calvert, got plenty of pace, Calvert's still going, cuts inside, he'll take the tackle, because there's still a couple of tackles to go in this set. That's Rudd, they should have men over here. The offload from Leicester to Tandy. Tandy will play it, this is the last. Leicester out to the far side, Nanin's over! What a comeback from Whitehaven! Nanin has scored and from 18-0 down, they lead by four.
surely that's the game now for Whitehaven. There's still plenty of time, there's six minutes to go, but we need more urgency about what we do. Tandy, and that's Jackson. Oh, back again. And Sais, it's a good start. Oh, it's a great ball from Sais. Leicester, and then out to the far side to Spencer Miller. Last tackle. They've gone on the blind side, they might be in a room, they might have a man over, Nanin, out on the far side, back to Nanin! And Whitehaven's man of the match has sealed the game! And Whitehaven are in the grand final for the second season on the trot! We'll see you with that. McNanin then steps up and he makes the game save. Oh, come on, mate. Fucking hell, we're fucking home. I've been a coach for a long time. And there's the final hooter. The recreation ground is rocking. And they're celebrating a second successive grand final, but this time Whitehaven will be determined to go one better and actually win the competition. Final score, Whitehaven 32, Castleford 22. Oh, come here! Hey, what does that mean? <laughs> you, 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 you. Well done, what a performance. Dave, yeah, good one next week. Good one next week. Good one next week. Now we've got to regroup, we've got to fight hard and over the next week and turn out again next Sunday and see what happens there. But we've just got to, we've just got to make sure we keep working hard and uh, it'll be a shame just to, to blow it all now. We didn't do it. But as Art's here, that's our team. We'll be right as fuck. It's too weak. We'll, 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 we'll be, be back. back here. And thanks to our we will be back here. Playing well. That was absolutely outstanding. Uh, there's not many times when you can get situations like this and enjoy it. Pick your trophy up, enjoy the crowd. But you know what I'm going to say. In the back of your mind, there's one to go. Uh, there's one more game to go. Keep that hunger. We'll work really hard leading up until that grand final. But congratulations, you deserve every accolade you get. All right, let's go and enjoy ourselves. At the end of the game, Whitehaven celebrated by lifting their first ever trophy, having finished top of League One during the normal season. We've just picked the league leaders' trophy up, which uh, means I love a lot to a lot of people at the club. You know, this is their day, but uh, from a, a, a player and a coach's point of view, you know, we're in that grand final now, and we're, we're going to do everything in our powers to win that game. I mean, it's hard better rugby up here, and uh, they love it. The people love it. I, I, as you can see today, look at the crowd. I mean, it's just fantastic, fantastic atmosphere, fantastic game for the club.